Hi there, uh, this is Andrew Frank. We're doing a, a quick overview of BodyTrack Lite pressure mapping system. It's an Android-based pressure mapping system that was designed to be a, an extension, an augmentation of the BodyTrack Pro clinical pressure mapping system. So it's a great tool for uh, facilities that are doing uh, that aren't uh, doing uh, high-end or uh, complex rehab work. Uh, so say, for instance, for a long-term care facility, where you still want to know what's happening with pressure mapping, but you're not doing high, uh, very complex seating. It's also a great tool for dealers because then you can easily check the work that's been done in a seating clinic and make sure it's still working in the field with the client, or you can use it in the seating clinic uh, to uh, do a mobile uh, monitoring of the, the new seating solution to see if it works as planned and as designed in the, in the, in the uh, seating clinic. So we're just going to go over the features quickly. Uh, first one, of course, is uh, with the new, uh, I'm going to talk uh, specifically about the new BodyTrack 2 wireless and how we use it with this, uh, with BodyTrack Lite. So when we go to BodyTrack Lite, um, the first thing, we'll, uh, BodyTrack 2, uh, with BodyTrack Lite, go to your YLAN settings, and in this case, we're going to use this particular, it's called a data port now. In the future, it'll be a slightly different name, but you'll find that on the uh, label of the seat sensor itself, or the bed sensor, as well as the password you'll need to get onto the device. I've already selected it. I'm already connected to it, so I'll hop back out of here, and back to body track light. And again, you can see there's different tools here. If you're new to pressure mapping, pressure mapping 101 is a great document. There is a manual included. Uh, and the PDF file manager is where you can save some of the screenshots and reports that you've made. The ISO guideline is a guideline to pressure mapping. It's a draft you can review. Uh, start uh, mapping, we just click on it. And you can see that it's already uh, active uh, at this point in time. So when you look at the screen, you can see, uh, you know, typically what you would, what you're familiar with, uh, with a uh, pressure mapping system. I'm just squishing the mat right now. The the particular sensor I have is a Body Track 2 seat mat, and it is powered by a battery right now, so it's transmitting this information wirelessly to this tablet. I can also do it to my Galaxy S8. So there's another, uh, there's another uh, video that you could review that talks about more of the hardware of how we do that and how we get set up. And, uh, and then uh, we can review this display a little bit together. So you have um, the main screen is just basic pressure mapping, a heat map, as people call it. You also have this box, which is based on research regarding what's called a dispersion index. Uh, essentially, you will place this over a person's seated area. So I'm just going to quickly sit on it so you get a sense of what that looks like. Hopefully, I can place my... Whoops, I've got this rotated 90 degrees. Sorry about that. We'll just set this properly. Again, you want to set the dispersion index area around the issues and the sacrum. That's the goal. If that percentage is above 50%, then uh, literature indicates that that might be a place where the person could have a, uh, a, a pressure issue in the future. So we'll go on from here. You've got your standard distribution of 5 to 200 millimeters of mercury. You have your center of pressure. Dispersion, ind dispersion index we just discussed. Peak pressure index uh, is a good benchmark comparator as is sensing area or contact area and the coefficient of variation, which is a flatness indicator. So you can compare one uh, solution to another. You also have what we call gradient. And gradient is a indicator of how the pressure moves over the surface. So where the colors are higher, or, uh, that is where the pressure is moving faster. That gives you an indication where the tissue might be stressed. And therefore, uh, may pay attention to it. You can see that. You know, and not surprisingly, the pressure moves fastest where the pressure is highest. So if you've done a good job managing uh, pressure distribution over the seat, you've uh, done much to reduce the uh, possibility of shear. And you have uh, the wrist tab, which is a tab that tracks pressure over time. And uh, I'm going to talk about the, uh, more of that in the next video that we do.